and welcome to my <laughs> welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Wendy J. Haney, and today I'm going to do a final walkthrough of my quilt factory, as Kevin likes to call it. A number of you have wondered, hey, is it ready? Did you get it where you want it? And you know what? It's as good as it's going to get right now, and it's always going to be a work in progress. Oh, my fabric stash. Oh, I finally got to the point where, you know what? It's time to put things in bins, get it somewhat organized, and let it go. And then, as things evolved, I will do more cleanup and organizing. And I've really figured out, hmm, I think I need to do a scrap quilt. <laughs> I have lots of pieces that are scrap size and not enough yardage to really do anything with. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna flip around and I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of the quilt factory. And here we are. I'm gonna start right at the entrance because I'm not showing you my office. It's still a disaster. So over here, we've got my video space. I'm on the left side with the purple mat with the cameras on the other side. And then I've got my ironing board here on the end which makes it super nice. What's really nice is I now have a quilt rack that's holding the quilt that I'm using for my backdrop. Therefore, if I want to change it out later, I can, and it's just there. As you can see, I have lots of storage. Cabinet there. Down here at the bottom, is <laughs> on, on my left here, is all my uh, quilt kits, yes, and Home Depot loves us. Storage racks, storage racks, storage racks. Yep, don't know what I would do without those. And here we've got our lights on and the cameras and um, there's little displays so that I can see what my camera is seeing. Then over here, as I said, I have my ironing board. And then we get into the sewing space. Here's my sewing machine to the left that I use when I'm videoing. And then I have another sewing machine. And of course, Kevin had to put a TV up down here because we had it, so we did. So these two machines over here both are embroidery machines. I kind of got it set up because at one time I had a neighbor friend that came over and she had a spot to sit. So now I'm set up that way here too. And there's the, some more storage areas and the door outside for Charlie. And then here I have another cutting table, laying out table. Um, I have it up on risers, so this works good for laying out a design, measuring my borders and all of that stuff. When I'm doing embroidery, it also is where I um, do the hooping of my projects. And we've got that. And I've got my old dresser from the house I grew up in. Charlie's got a couch here. Or whoever wants to come down and happens to watch TV while I'm, you know, working. Or I just need to sit to do some handwork. So we're going to go over here, around the corner. More storage my fabric that's more scrappy stuff. And then, oh my gosh, my fabric stash. I know it's disgusting, but it's now all in bins. The bins are labeled. The dresser there ends up having a lot of leftover cross stitch stuff that I seriously need to figure out where to put it and how to, well, get it to a better place. And the long arm is up. Yep, and a couple file cabinets with my quilting thread on top. Yep, there's my long arm. It's a good thing it's up. I need to get a baby quilt quilted. I think I mentioned in the first video, this pegboard here is going to be for embroidery thread. We've got the Floriani thread up. The Madeira is not up yet. And well, What's a quilting space without my wine rack? <laughs> 
and another cubbyhole dresser that has lots of things. And one more little spot, yes, just because we had the chairs and couches in the other house, another spot for Charlie to sit, if he's so inclined, while I'm working on the long arm. And there you have it. That is the quilting space. Now that I have things off the floor, looking fairly decent, yeah, I'm tickled to death with it, and it's going to continually be a work in progress. This is why you get to see it now. It may improve or it may get worse. There you have it. There's my quilt factory. Take care and thanks for watching.